Hey everybody, welcome back for another Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 video. Uh, today I just want to do a quick video about uh, using the Avair app uh, for navigation uh, in the simulator. So when I fly in the simulator, as you've seen in some of my other videos, uh, I like to fly in the simulator like I fly in real life. I use my phone or a tablet for uh, navigation uh, as a moving map. Uh, that allows me to uh, to train like I fly. So uh, when I'm flying the simulator, I want my GPS location in the simulator to be sent over the Wi-Fi network over to my cell phone so that my cell phone, I can open the Avair moving map application and it'll see where I am in the sim. So uh, I ran into a problem last night where uh, that stopped working for whatever reason. I don't know if there were some software updates done on the Avair end or on uh, the Flight Sim 2020. I think it's on the Avair end, uh, and I'll get into that. So just to uh, rewind a little bit, uh, if you go to the Google Play Store um, and look for Avair, uh, this is the app that comes up. Uh, you can see 100,000 plus downloads. It's a free app, uh, so it's kind of similar to ForeFlight, but it might not have all the same uh, capabilities and you know, not not quite the same pretty user interface that uh, ForeFlight has. But at the same time, you're not spending 100 bucks or so a year for it. So pretty great uh, free application. Now there used to be a external I/O uh, application that would go with Avair, and if uh, I open up my flight stuff here. So you can see right here uh, is a of our external I.O. So if I open that up, that was the uh, interface that would connect to the computer. So on my computer, if I open up the XConnect terminal, it says I already have it running. So I can go down to the bottom right hand corner of my screen and find the icon, open up the properties window. Uh, so you can see the output uh, where where Outputting this information, the GPS data over the Wi-Fi network in on this port number in the UDP protocol. Uh, so when I tell the external I/O application to listen, you can see the data coming through. But notice in the top right hand or top left hand corner here, it says Aver not connected. So if I go look at my applications now, I do have the Aver application open, but it's telling me there is no GPS signal. If I go into the preferences, GPS, and look at the GPS position source, so it's using all available, I'll tell it to only use Avair apps. Uh, and then if I hit the GPS button, it's still seeing me here in New England, and uh, it's not seeing where we are in the simulator, which is on Big Bear Mountain out in California. Uh, if I toggle between navigation and simulation time uh, a couple times, sometimes that wakes it up, but it's not waking it up. So what I found last night is um, I, I, I'm assuming it's a uh, recent Avair update. Uh, you know, I should have checked to see when their most recent update was done. But I'm going to stop listening with the external application and I'm going to close it down. So what I found was the Avair app itself actually uh, imported some of this capability. So on the bottom ta tabs here, if I scroll all the way over to the right, uh, and click I.O., you can see that the external I.O. features have all been added here. So we're on port 49002, and if I start listening, there's our data coming in. Now if I scroll over to the left, and you can uh, hit the map tab, now here we are at Big Bear. So now uh, if we take off, you can see the moving map. If I go into the plates tab, uh, destination, if I say L35 is Big Bear, you can see uh, where we are here at Big Bear. If I do, what else do we have nearest to us? Is it not going to let me open anything else? Oh, you know what? I should type in a plan. So let's say we're going to like K O N T is Ontario and add that to the plan. And I'll add uh, 35L is Big Bear. Search for that. Maybe I need to put a K in front of it. Uh, it's not finding it. I thought it was 35L. Maybe we'll go back to the map tab. L35, my, my bad. 35, search, there it is, Big Bear. We'll move Ontario down. Alright, so there's our flight plan. We can activate the flight plan, go back to the map page, and there's our, uh, magenta line that we're going to be flying. Now if I go into the plates 
and I say so now you see Ontario comes up so now we can see uh, approach plates and if we were at Ontario now you would see uh, wherever we are uh, geo located geo uh, positioned uh, on this approach plate so you can follow along with your taxiway diagrams and it's pretty useful uh, in the simulator to uh, you know bring up your situational awareness and have a better idea of where you are without having to switch between maps and stuff on your on your computer so highly recommend it uh, I hope this video was helpful to you guys uh, if anybody's been using this all along and for whatever reason it stopped working last night like what happened to me I hope this has been helpful uh, I will see you in a future video. Hopefully, uh, we're going to be flying in the next one. So, uh, catch you in the next one. Thanks.